Hi, this is Maria. I'm going to show you how to make this very simple layout using Note Shelf. Uh, I'm using the So Simple Planner by Jenny Golan Designs. I've chosen to use the Sunday Start, but um, she does make this in um, Monday Start as well. You get it. You get both journals when you buy this, and a bunch of stickers that come included. But um, I'm going to show you how this to make this basic layout. Just to illustrate that you don't need to buy a whole ton of stickers. If you have a few or even just the ones that come with it, you can make your planner look very pretty. So let's get started. I'm going to clear the page because that's how I always start. I'm going to touch my eraser and clear. This is how it comes and you can simply add in your stickers and make it personalized. Now one thing people have been asking me is how do I um, once I have a sticker down, if I write over it, how do I move my handwriting and not move the sticker behind it? In Note Shelf, you can't. Um, you have to erase and start over um, with your handwriting. However, if you're using text and you write over that, you can, with text selected, move your text box. So I tapped to highlight that box, and now I can move it. Um, but that's one key difference that Note Shelf uh, doesn't allow that Good Notes did allow. Um, I find I'm using text more with Note Shelf because of that, um, or simply erase your handwriting and start over. My handwriting is not the neatest anyway, so I, I'm not really minding it. Um, as you can see, there's very little, if any, lag with Note Shelf um, as compared to GoodNotes. Um, honestly, GoodNotes just flat out didn't work for me. It crashed. So this that is why I switched. It's personal choice if you want to work in GoodNotes. I have a playlist full of GoodNotes videos for you. Anyway, back to this one. Let's go ahead and add in my March. Now normally I work the other way, but since this one is made to go vertical, we're going to go ahead and work vertical for the video. We can still work side by side. I'm going to go to my albums, find my planner album um, in my photo roll, and grab my stickers. So, first thing I want to do is add my March days. I have stickers that have the months, the mini months already in here. We need March. Drag it over. And I'm just going to size this to fit. It automatic when I brought that sticker over, it automatically turned on my edit features. Now, I've already got March there. I could handwrite my numbers in. But since I want a sticker there, I'm going to edit and just remove March from the sticker. Apply. Yep, that looks good. So I'm going to hit Done. And that way I can use the March that was there behind and simply add in my month on top of that. So let's see what else. Let's get a That's Pretty. That will fit right there. Edit. Pick the one you want. Now I'm in the crop mode, but let's say undo, cancel. Um, I don't have to use crop. I can erase if I just want to erase some of these things. Kind of like Magic Eraser. Or I can use the little lasso feature and cut things out this way. Um, the little lasso feature works well if you only want part of a sticker. Um, actually, if we wanted to do that, I hit apply rather than done, and then I can do my eraser. You can really, really customize your stickers this way. So if you don't have magic eraser, that's a good tool. You see, I've just taken the paper off of the rings. but Let's not do that. What I wanted to do was just grab this 
lots of cool features with Note Shelf. Now I'm not sure if I cut the entire thing off so I'm going to hit apply rather than done and now I can go even closer with my crop. Okay, now I'm going to hit done and there's my sticker. Now I can just size it to fit into this space. Drop. Okay, now let's see. I think I want... I tend to use, like this one, these are iWatch covers. I don't own a lot on iWatch, but I like the, the images from the iWatch collection. So I tend to use those a lot. That's one of them. That's one of them. Um, I'm going to use this one today. Drag it over. Some people like their images pre-cropped. I kind of don't really care simply because um, I tend to work side by side anyway. So it, it doesn't really matter to me if my images are pre-cropped or not. There we go. Now, let's see. Those are pretty. We'll come back to that. We're going to go back to some that were included with this journal. This, this, and this were included with this purchase. Now I could have used this one, but I wanted one with more of a rainbow color. Um, and we're just going to use some pretty flowers here. Edit. Come real close to my flower. I'm going to copy that, paste it again, long press and paste. And I'm going to drop it so that I can rotate to a different direction. And see, if I go off the page, it'll just crop that off for me. Well, that way we've got a little bit of a match going. And honestly, I think that's all the stickers I'm going to use here. Now we're just going to go to my highlighter. And we're going to pick a square and pretty large. And I'm going to use my shapes tool so that I can make that line nice and straight. Lasso. Put it right where you want it. Back to my highlighter. And just for some accent, I've still got my shapes tool selected. Very simple, very easy. Take the shapes tool off. Go to a pen. I'm going to use this pink. Now you can see my handwriting is not very clear. My only option is to erase handwriting and start over. So we'll just pick a bigger pen. My handwriting tends to be a little bit neater if I use a thicker ink, uh, a thicker pen size. Um, but the easiest thing to do is just go into text mode. So if I click text, I'm going to tap, I get a nice little text box. And if I write with my text box, um, you will find that the text box, so long as this text tool is selected, this you can move regardless of whether you're over an image or not. Okay? Not with the lasso. The lasso will still do that. But if you're in text, you can move this wherever you want. Okay? And actually, that's a sticky note. 
so I can make that sticky note a different color if I if I wanted to. Okay, lots of neat features with with the note shelf. But what I wanted to do was make shopping list. So I'm still in my text tool. I'm going to click my checkbox. It puts a checkbox there, and I'm going to make shopping list. And we'll play with sizing here in a minute. If that doesn't line up, my I've already done this, so mine is lining up pretty good. But if yours doesn't, we will fix that. All right. So now I'm going to select all of this, the whole list. Click my paintbrush, and I this tells me that I'm using Font Bakery Bread in the color blue, and that's my size. And I'm going to play with my sizing until it fits the lines of my sticker that I happen to be working on. So now I can move this box. It's not affecting my sticker. I need to go a little smaller. It's still all highlighted. And it looks like size 20 will fit perfectly on those lines. So I'm going to set that as a default. So it will remember, if I need to make another checklist, it will remember that font, that color, and that it fits right there. Now the thing with checkboxes is as you use them, Note Shelf will check the boxes for you once, you're st once you've started using them. Now you can do that with bullet dots. Okay. Or you can make a numbered list. And since we've already determined what size, it's lining up very nicely. Okay, change my mind. Just erase it all out. There you go. All right, so now back to my handwriting. I'm just going to finish this out. Pick another color. Let's pick a pretty green. And we'll go back to my pink. To actually hand write in. Now, lasso will work so long as you're not working over an image. Okay. I have every other Friday off. Let's go to a pretty teal. Now let's use blue for Randy. Um, I like to color code my tasks sometimes. Uh, my mother-in-law lives in Las Vegas, so my husband has gone off to see his mother. Um, so as you can see, my handwriting's not the neatest to begin with, so I'm actually using this text tool a lot more. So hmm, next week, I want to go ahead and use the same sticker setup here that I have. So I am going to use my lasso because I want it to move everything including my highlighter. So paste and just bring that over. And I can do that on all of my weeks. So this planner does link my weeks and it links me to the month of March. The same way as my tab does. Let's go back to that hot pink. And let's go ahead and make this one. Eraser, clear my page. This was just stickers. So let's bring that photo roll back over, find my planner album. And we'll start with this one. So 
See how my text box is not going small enough? I'm going to hit apply and I'm going to keep going. Done. Rotate. Make it bigger. And I'm just going to go right off the edge. There we go. Same sticker set. These three came together. Edit. And I want this one. Just pick out the ones you want. Again, I'm not getting small enough. I can say apply and then size again. I'm going to lasso, copy that, put it over here. It's working, the copy is, whoops, the copy is working just fine here because the rest of this is built in. I'm not erasing anything. Okay, let's get a butterfly in here. And one more. Or, you know, I could just do, I'm going to say no, I could just use the little lasso instead. So that's all the stickers I used, minimal stickers. And now I'm just going to handwrite my days. So I'm just going to pick a pretty green I like to use. And highlighter. I'll pick a nice soft green and make sure it is the circle and just tap my circles in. So now I have my monthly spread. My weekly, I can copy and just go do the same thing or add new different stickers. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching.